Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be solving the second lab on the Portswigger Web Security Academy, where the CRSF token validation depends on the request method. So here's what this lab is all about. Remember when we said that for a CRSF attack to work, we need three things to happen. One, we need a relevant action. And in our case, we're trying to change the email address of Carlos to our email address. Two, we want the session to be cookie based. And three, we don't want any unpredictable parameters in our requests. So nothing that we cannot guess. Now, unfortunately, in this exercise, there is going to be a CSRF token, as you're going to be saying. And if you have read the article on the Portswigger Web Security Academy, it goes into a lengthy details of what the CSRF token is. In a nutshell, this is an unpredictable parameter that's going to be sent with your request used to thwart any CSRF attacks. So the aim of the token is to be unpredictable so that you cannot construct as the attacker, you cannot construct a request that is going to be accepted by the server. Now, if the token hasn't been implemented properly, there are some ways to bypass it. And we're going to be seeing one of these ways. You might have gotten the hint from the name of the lab. In this scenario, we're going to be seeing how to bypass the token validation because the token depends on the request method. Meaning that in this lab, we'll see that the token depends on the post request. That's the request method. But what if we change the post request to a get request? Will we be able to bypass the token validation? Let's try it out together. I'll log in as Carlos. We already have the username and the password. And let me clear the history on my burp suite. I'll go ahead and submit a change email request. Let me straight away go to the exploit server. You'll notice that this is a very quick exercise and pretty straightforward lab, to be honest. So let's go straight ahead to the exploit server and I'm going to paste the exact same request that I used in the previous lab. So let me grab the change email URL and I'm going to paste it here. I'll change the email address. Now, what else do I need to change? As the name of the lab says, this is the CRF token that validates depending on the request method. And as you can see here, our request method is post. It's a post method. What other requests can we use with HTTP or HTTPS? The first one that comes to mind is the get request. So let's try that. I'll change the post to get. I'll store my exploit. And here we go. We have solved the lab successfully. So that was a pretty easy one. However, do keep that in mind when you're testing web applications. Sometimes this will actually happen. You will be able to bypass quite a few of security measures, not just the token, if you use a different HTTP method. If you, for example, change the post to get. All right, so this is the end of the section. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon in another video.